All right, Mr. Chuck Evans, license number, yada, yada, yada. It's gonna give us a block of instruction on what he's found with this electrical service panel. Feel free. All right, this is one of our favorite findings. We see on occasion where we've got sub panels. On this side, we've got a main panel. Here, we've got a sub panel. Uh, there's gonna be another sub panel somewhere in the house. We're looking in the main panel. We've got 200 amp breaker here. But lo and behold, on the load side of that, we've got a direct connection with 10 gauge wire here on a 200 amp circuit with no kind of over current protection. And what we're assuming is that that's in turn feeding this sub panel over here. We really can't determine that definitively. In essence, what we have is potential for 200 amps of current to be going through 10 gauge uh, American wire gauge uh, copper. Uh, can't support that kind of current. If you had something that's drawing that much on the back side, you can overheat these wires, potentially cause a fire. Over on the sub panel side, we've got a couple of issues here. One, this uh, sheathing is supposed to be cut back on this Romex where it comes in. Uh, as we look down here, this is a very common issue with sub panels. We see that we have commingling of our equipment ground along with our grounded conductors, which are commonly known as neutrals. Uh, also, right here, we've got a bonding strap uh, bonding this uh, bus back to the panel that should be removed on the sub-panel. That's it. Out. Good job, sir.